Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. There's something up there. A Scuttler Mark 7. But, I would go after it. But at this moment, we have bigger issues to deal with. I have been under attack all night long. And we can see the, uh, the various wreckage that is out here to represent such attacks. It is just coating this forest. This entire thing here is just all wreckage from all of the f ships that they've been sending at me all night. But I've beaten them back, and we have actually installed a little better turret here. I figured out that this uh, flak cannon can actually just needs basic materials uh, like the iron and magnesium and nickel and stuff like that to make its shells so we put that on there and they've got nice explosive rounds so a nice flak turret there we've parked our fighter here to just serve as an additional turret and we've managed to hold them off but also we have made our nano machine our nanite factory and this thing is quite amazing we'll just pop into the control panel here and we'll throw on the nanite facility and we'll watch it power up as it does here a little thing should come out of the center of it here in a moment there we go and now it floats up and start sending out the little nanites. You see these little guys going off. They're going off to do stuff. And the stuff that they're doing is things like building and salvaging and repairing. So all these little bits here, all these sort of uh, tiny bits of grid that aren't powered are being slowly disassembled by the nanite factory. The only downside is that nanites are bloody power intensive. And this thing is currently pu pulling 40 megawatts. And that is after I coded it with power upgrades so that it wasn't taking as much power. When it was at fully at capacity, it was pulling like 120 megawatts. And I was looking at my batteries and going, you you will be out of power in 10 minutes and I'm like uh that's not gonna work so not only did I install all these power upgrades overnight but also as we see just past the solar towers I installed some wind turbines got them elevated nicely off the ground by 10 blocks that way they're up at optimal height and they're producing a maximum amount of power there is five per tower and there is nine towers so We've got a fair amount of power generation there. I think this is about 14 megawatts from these guys here. But as we can see, it should be sending out little nanites. Yeah, there they go. They're flying through the air and they're flying down to these blocks over here. And if we watch, it's going to build these blocks. Boom, all of a sudden, block built. So now when I'm designing the base, all I have to do is place blocks and design it out, and then the nanites will automatically build it up for me. So these towers here are gonna finish. And the reason it's able to do that is that it's connected to the base through the conveyor system that used to be a docking port here. So I lost a docking port, but I got this amazing automatic construction facility, essentially. And turning that on, I've actually had it on majority of the overnight because the base took some serious damage along this wall from defending against the attacks, but this nanite would repair them very nicely in between the attacks and get everything back into order. Oh, so it's it's been it's been a little crazy, but we are stabilizing. In this episode, we're going to start building our stuff. Uh, also, other power things I've needed to do is turn on these hydrogen engines and add a whole bunch more of these H2O2 
generators because the hydrogen engines were just screaming for more hydrogen. So I'm currently burning my ice and I'm also burning some uranium because when those, sh those ships are coming in, when those drones are attacking, they actually are powered by small reactors, which I get a little bit of uranium per ship that comes in, and I've been shooting down so many that I've got a little bit of uranium here, which is excellent. So all of that combined, it's getting me a whole bunch more power such that I'm going to really recharge my batteries, and they got very depleted by uh, the overnight because I didn't have the solar power, so I'm very happy that we are back in business now, and we are ready to kick ass. We're just going to power up our suit and head on outside because we need to start the projector here. We need to start building our dropship. Projector on. And we can see the dropship is in position. And what should start occurring is the nanite factory, in a couple moments here, should start sending down nanites to build on that blueprint because if we check into its status nanite we can see there's a whole bunch of possible targets there's production nanites that are building blocks there are specifically in here there should be blueprint nanites all right at least i'm not might be mistaken out oh, projection nanites possible targets one max streams one so currently it is sending out one nanite into the projection to start building it. And you can see that it has begun. Now it's going to take it a while to build this, so we can probably help it along by building out, say, the floor and the, uh, the, uh, the uh, what are these called? The hangar, hangar bay doors and stuff like that as, you know, we don't want to use the load and unload glitch for those again. But... While this thing is working and getting this thing all set up, we need to focus on getting our materials because this is going to take a lot of stuff. If we take a look at our storage. We do have a lot of iron to work with. 57,000 there. Uh, what else we got? We've got a 2 million ore here. We need to get this all processed into steel plates so that this thing can use them. So. We should do some runs with the... Uh, also, it is just building a bunch of stuff. I'll just let it build stuff. We should do a bunch of runs with my uh, little cargo container here. And also, probably gather up all the salvage. And what I'm thinking is now that I'm basically doing the, ma I'm doing the majority of my material collection through my mining rigs my mining ship has little to no meaning anymore so i should do something with it i should replace some of its parts and uh do something else so i'm gonna take off the drills and take off these conveyors because there's no need for them anymore oh that's the spotlight i want to keep the spotlight on there also want to keep the interior light Everything's in the way of me getting to this. Come on, conveyor. Can I get it from the underneath? There we go. Got it. Excellent. And what I'm thinking is I can just make this guy a little lifter that will go around and we can put a landing gear on the bottom of it. So first off, we are fully charged here, so we should be good. We'll unlock and we'll hover. We've got several hours of hovering time, so no fear there. And then we can get a landing gear. And uh, get the stuff we need for a small landing gear. And slap a landing gear on this thing. And this will probably be fine. We can make this work. And the idea is... We want to add uh, that landing gear in here with switch lock. And now we can use this little guy, not as a miner anymore, but a little hauler. So for example, this old dead drifting pursuant here, we will hover down to it and we shall lock onto it. And now 
we can pick it up and hover it into the grinder pit and lower it down nicely into the pit and drop it off. Oh, I might have destroyed something there. We can drop it off for uh, grinding. Let's uh, very quickly go and check what I destroyed. Did I damage a, uh, a grinder? No, I think I destroyed something off of this other piece. But let's turn on the grinders. So we'll just have the grinders constantly on as we're doing this sort of clean up here. As uh, unfortunately, the control panel for the grinding pit also got shot off while uh, during one of the attacks. Yes, grind. Oh, glorious. Grind that pursuant down. Add its stuff into the base such that I will be able to use it later on. So now, just gotta fly around and collect up debris. Some of this stuff is actually quite small, so it should be fairly easy to fly with. Come on, just gotta uh, place against it. Lock. Lock, you silly landing gear. There you go. And now we can just fly on back. And don't get too close to the grinding pit, but drop it on in and have it get ripped apart for resources and profit. <laughs> but yeah, this will take me a little bit here to get this all cleaned up, and I'll probably do the majority of it off camera. But I just wanted to show what, uh, what I had plans to do with this little ship here that I'm not really going to be using anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, the the leopard is starting. It's building. Oh, I'm so excited to have this thing built. And then we can evacuate the base. Go and destroy these attackers. And what I think I want to do, I'm ha I'm I'm really contemplating of how I want to do this because I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to set up a major base like this base here is relatively minor it's only got some minor energy production and only three refineries and two assemblers like it's not anything that huge eventually what I want to do is set up a base that has you know like a, a refinery for each material and a storage container for each material and like a storage container for each processed components like all that kind of stuff so that way I can have just these massive quantities of materials there and I can just have this as my ultimate base and what I'm thinking is I'm not sure if I want to do it on earth because there is the cost although it's not too terrible of doing the transition from earth to space to then do a jump because you know it's not really about the resource cost if we were playing with a realistic uh, hydrogen levels then yeah it could be about the resource cost but we have the efficient hydrogen engine mods which I'm finding quite enjoyable to play with so it's not that it's just the time it takes a couple minutes to get to orbit every single time when I could set up a huge space station or uh, like a huge asteroid station or something on the moon where it's only a couple kilometers to space and a jump point compared to Earth where it's like 40 something kilometers up to get to a place where I can link up and jump. So, come on, lock. I'm thinking that the big, big, big base is going to be on the moon. And, oh, come on. There we go. Don't don't flip on me. I think this thing might need another gyro or two if I'm going to be hauling around stuff like this. Because this one seemingly is giving me issues. Come on. Stop being silly. And what I think I want to do for a moon base is I'd like to make it inside of a crater. I think that would be kind of cool. And to like 
wall off the entire roof of the crater, like with glass or something, and make it like a... Uh, oh, would be a good example of like a huge biodome sort of thing, so you could walk around inside the crater at all times with your helmet off, and it would all be uh, pressurized. I think that would be amazing. Uh, downside of that is that voxels, like the ground, can't be pressurized, so I'd have to actually surround it with blocks all the way around, but it sounds fun. I think that's my plan, that we'll eventually leave Earth, we'll leave this base here, and we'll go and make our more permanent home out in the stars, either on a big, big space station that I could move around with me at whatever planet I was working at, just so I could have it like a, a, a giant ship, a fleeting rival coming in, or a moon base. So unfortunately, fleeting rival, we'll just go and hide our ship back here for a moment. Probably best to just dock it up as that's enough uh, salvage work for now. And uh, can I lock? Nope. Stop locking me up, uh, landing gear. I want to get my uh, conveyor aligned first. Right there. There we go. And recharging. Excellent. And fleeting rival will be here in any second. Let's just uh, hide inside of our shield here and join in with our rifle. Suck my weaponry. Ah, I love it. And you didn't fire. Why not, Mr. Flak Turret? Are you out of ammo or anything? Uh, let me check. Da, 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 da. There's a thing. Flak. Oh, it's got plenty of ammo. Hmm. I wonder why I wasn't firing there. Probably, maybe, because this thing's in the way now. So, I don't know. We'll leave it there for now. As, uh, this guy is getting built up. So what I should probably do... What should I do now? This guy is being built automatically, but I should assist with this, because I want to get this thing going. I want to get this going as fast as possible. Otherwise, what we need to do is... do a few more of the mining rigs for the different materials that we haven't done a mining rig for yet, as... They, oh, what is it? I need to look at inventories of this current ship. Uh, yeah, we don't have any steel plates here, so let's get some steel plate. And pull a whole bunch of them into uh, this current ship. And then go weld up a bunch of the, uh, bunch of the dropship. So the other materials, I've done the thing for nickel and iron so far, which are good, because those are very uh, useful materials. I should do it to cobalt, magnesium, and silicon before I leave, and I should get a lot of that material, like, processed. So there is the possibility that I'll need to expand the base temporarily, maybe add to just a platform off to the side that I can start just doing an industrial area just to get some extra... Uh, resources done, and this is so weird being able to fly through the, uh, the the blueprint of the ship here. Actually, what I will do is I'm going to turn off the uh, see the rest of the blueprint thing because pff, it's doing silly things like this. I can't tell what is built and what is not. So, we'll go to the projector and we'll show only billable and, yeah, let's keep the projection just in case um, some bit of it gets destroyed, then it'll rebuild that. Okay, now we can help out. <laughs> the, the shadow of it is still there. This is so weird. That's probably a bug, but that is okay. We'll get the floor started. Now these gyroscopes 
Yeah, those are okay positions for them now. Eventually I need to reposition them because I didn't really fully design this thing in terms of what pieces of equipment are going where when I first made it. I just sort of shaped the armor and got all that stuff ready. And then was like, okay, that's good enough. I'll do the, uh, the fine tuning when I get into the game. So we're going to have to do that after this thing gets all welded. But, ooh, another thing we could do here is the fact that this ship itself is going to have some reactors on it and not the reactors. Um, some, my brain isn't functioning, some refineries. And I think they're in the blueprint already. I'm not sure if I want to do large refineries or mini refineries on this one, but what I could do here is get this thing built out enough that I could get the refineries on it working, and then I could use those refineries to speed up my uh, my building process and, and plug this thing into the base using a bunch of conveyors, which I'm going to have to do anyway, because eventually I want to haul everything from this base and put it onto this ship, or at least the vast majority of the uh, process material, so I can take it with me to the moon and create a base there from the, uh, the storage on this ship. So that's looking good. Get this thing a bit more welded up. We can start to see this is one of the, uh, the engine pods here. So there's a large hydrogen thruster pointing downwards when that gets all built up. Right here is when it, the when it comes one block up here, it is just making room for a landing gear that should be underneath. And get a couple more things here welded. Excellent. Should probably rotate to the outside here and start working on this wing. The uh, nanite machine is uh, almost going faster than me, which is ridiculous. It can just build so much, and it just builds automatically. It doesn't need to reposition or anything. It just does everything. Oh yeah, we're getting it going. But it looks like we also have another guy coming in. Ugh, fleeting rival. Why must they attack us? What have we done to them? Nothing yet, but we will definitely do something to them in the future. And... Uh, yeah, he's just a kilometer away. Let's get over onto the other side of the base so we're in cover. We'll just duck down here. Just so that we're hidden behind all the turrets. Whoa! Didn't mean to jump out there. Meant to go into third person. And watch all of our turrets. Take them down. And another one. Dead. Excellent. We can head back out. And do some more welding. So the design for this... Dropship here... Is it's based off the Leopard. And based off the... Uh, blueprint I found on the workshop, so it's not my original design. However, I took inspiration from and greatly modified the internals of. So now, I've got all sorts of things, including better thrusting, more space internals, so I can put a bunch of stuff for survival, and it should be absolutely wonderful. This thing welded up. We should have, yep, there's a, a conveyor there, and then there's eventually a turret there. And on this conveyor on the side, there's eventually turrets here. And this all comes together so that this thing should have plenty of firepower. At least, I think it's four or six Gatling guns on it, as well as some places we could possibly put some missile pods as well. But, let's 
enough for that wing. I want to get a little bit more in the internals here. I kind of need to build up these walls before I can start building out where the refineries should go. So let's just build up these walls. And I think in the center as well would be a good place to do it. Yeah, there we go. And you can see the, uh, the start of the back engine ports. We got two great big circles for the back major large engines there. And soon, one of these comes forward, and I can't remember which one. Alright. Comes into the room, doesn't it? As far as I remember. Or did I make this thing, like, empty before I, uh, put it onto my blueprint? I can't remember. What we need to do is get some interior plates into our little welder ship here, because we're unable to start those conveyor blocks, and because of that, we're unable to uh, do other stuff with that. We're unable to make... So when we build them, we can build the next thing. So let's get some interior. And we just need a bit of it, right? I want this to go to my inventory, please. Thank you. 302. We'll just transfer some manually here. As a, that should be enough for us. Yeah, we got like a thousand in there now. We're good. Back to welding. Oh! Um. Oops. Uh. <laughs> that's what I get for parking a little too close there. Eh. That's the armor block I'm grinding down. That's the connector I'm grinding down. My god, why is it so hard to see this? Um. Atmospheric thruster. There we go. Uh, good thing about having the nanites is now I can just slap this back on. That should be even right. Where is this? No, this is one back. I can just slap on some nanite stuff onto here and the nanites will fix this up one higher too. Up here, right? Yeah, that's right. So I lost a couple interior lights there and a single small thruster facing off to the side. Like so. Uh, yeah, we'll just add a couple more thrusters as well so this thing's got a little bit better uh, side to side. Alright, the, uh, the light's there. So I'll move this one down. Come on. There you go. So, yeah. Nanite will fix that up. No need to worry. <laughs> but, ah, uh, this, the hull of my ship is coming together. It's already maybe a quarter done? Oh, it looks so cool. Alright, now that we've got some interior plates, we should be able to start these conveyor junctions here. Yeah, here we go. There we go out into these ones, into this conveyor junction, and now we get, well, okay, it's all in my face now. There's the hydrogen fuel tank for this thing. We get that started, and now the roof can be started. And if I remember correctly, I connected the refineries off the side of this large thruster in the bottom. I'm just gonna back out of here without running into stuff. The refineries load in. I guess I didn't put them in the blueprint. But yeah, I was thinking large refinery should fit in right there. And uh, it connects up to this thruster for its conveyors. And everything just should work all nicely. But I think in the meantime, 
just flying around and welding this thing all episode is going to be bordering is all hell. So we need to go and do something else. Possibly uh, go and hide because there's another fighter coming in. It's been like that all night. Every couple minutes, a fighter. And it's just been so annoying. And if you take a look here, we spin around. It's all repaired. <laughs> so that that little uh, little hauler there, little scrap thing, is uh, all ready to uh, go again. Oh, and I also destroyed. Oh, I did. I, I didn't even notice. I also destroyed a piece on this ship. I should uh, fix that up. Come on, connector, connect back up. There we go. We'll connect up. Recharge. Turrets are on. They're doing their thing. I think my sim speed is a little low now. It's just there's so many damn pieces of junk out there right now that my simulation is... <laughs> it's, it's becoming so slow. I need to uh, clean all that stuff up between now and the next episode in order to, uh, you know, have the game run smoothly again. <laughs> but let's get a conveyor tube back on this. Oh my god, the DP, the, the, the FPS is so bad right now. Okay, there we go. Finally, die. You annoying ship. Okay, let's go get the, the hauler. Let's go pull that thing into the... Uh, the grinding pit. Uh, da, da, da. Come on. Ready to go. Why can I not fly? Why can I not fly? I want to... see my connector. I want to unlock... Hmm? Oh! The, the landing gear. I'm not used to having the landing gear as also a, a thing to uh, turn off. Also, something that may be uh, causing me some lag is having all those grinders. I believe they're still on. So, yeah, that may be something to go and turn off here in a moment after I get this one ground down. Uh, you see how right here there is a small reactor. This thing has your uranium. So when I throw that into the uh, grinding bin, I'm going to get some more uranium in my base. Ooh. Jesus. Okay. Let's get this thing hooked up. Do, 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 do. Got it. Oh, I can just barely lift this. I should probably add more uh, thrusters onto this thing if I'm going to be lifting ships of this size. Oh, wow, I cannot stop this rotation. Okay, yeah. All right, let's drop that for a second. This thing needs a little bit more thrust to do this. So, even just downwards thrust that thing was having issues so we need stuff for probably another couple big thrusters or what I should just do is one more big thruster take these two atmospherics off the back here and get one more big thruster in the back like that then I can put thrusters like that Oh, the top one. I gotta put this down a little bit lower. Uh, because it's gonna run into those. Ah, oh, goddammit. Those backwards thrusters are gonna get in the way. I am gonna have to move them. Ah, impromptu redesign of the hauling ship. It needed to be done. As this thing was slowly becoming 
more and more obsolete. Come on. Take it off. There we go. So now we can get two, three, facing back like that. No, I should move them one step further. Because I want the uh, one, two, three there, and then these ones will be back on this engine to three, and one, two, three. We've got enough stuff to get a couple of these built up. We're going to have to wait for the nanites to fully build this thing up, but that'll be okay. We need a couple of gyros, because this thing definitely needs them. But let's just get this back to base for now. Yes, nanites, I need you to fix this thing. And this thing's got 11 days of power. We can just have it hover for a bit. No worries. Oh, it's already on it. I love you, nanites. You're so useful. Let's get a couple things for gyros here. Oh, that was for atmospheric thrusters. Gyros, please. There we go. And, uh, yeah, because this thing only had one gyro. Let's fill it up. Probably three would do me more than well. And we'll just build what we can here and help out the nanites and get them going. And get some more stuff into the pit. To get salvaged. Eh, this would probably be good enough for now. And I can just take this guy as he is. Cool. I want to do deposit. There we go. And then the nanites will fix me up as I'm going. Did I get all the... I didn't get the, um, the things done here. Come on. I need my gyroscopes. I need to be able to at least turn. And holy crap. The uh, simulation speed is getting horrible. What I might do is I might try to do a quick reload here. See if I can fix up the simulation speed. Eh, still a little bit low on the sim speed, but honestly, it's a bit better than before. And the reason why it's so bad is all of this junk. There's just too much of it. We really need to uh, get it all cleaned up. But leaving the nanite facility on all night sort of stuff, like just leave it on constantly, it's going to be what's really going to clean up this place because... There's no way I'm going around and picking up these individual little blocks. Leave the nanites for that. And, okay. Ah, this thing is still hard to fly. It's probably because it's just it's so much. Oh, that's why. Look, I'm capping out of my batteries. I'm not able to uh, actually thrust with all my force. That is why. Ah, but that's fine. We will get this thing in the pit here. And it will be ground down into glorious components for the good of the, the cause, for the good of the base. Eat that fleeting pursuant. <laughs> oh, look at the blocks as they're leaping around. <laughs> it's like confetti. Why are they all flying away? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Alrighty then. Oh, we got another person coming in. Something else. What are you? It's being in it's being engaged. It's a sting or stinging adversary. We shall get ourselves down into cover here while our turrets take it on and uh, knock it out of the sky. As they are quite good at that. Alright. I think we need to get away from the base here, as it's just causing way too much lag at the current moment. We'll 
park this bad boy up and let's go and get an, another resource mining out with our mining contraptions. And off we go. And just as soon as I get away from the base, everything snaps back to 60 FPS and everything's wonderful. There's the iron mine, which we may swing by on our way back. Right now, we're going for some cobalt off to the side here, 800 meters away, as uh, some resource I scouted out several episodes ago. And uh, we'll set up another mining rig there. We can get that stuff done. Because that's the goal. Next few episodes is just prepping, and then probably about like two or three episodes from now, we'll be launching out for the moon, taking our big ship with us, and at the same time, we'll be taking out that, uh, that enemy base as we swing by. Okay. So. We do... We prob oh, I don't think we have a... Uh, do I not have a... I don't have a mining detector on here. Huh. I do have this cobalt here. Alright, I'm going to run back real quick and get what I need for a mining detector. Or an ore detector, that is. Although one of the downsides of leaving the base is that these things come after me and not the base. So... I don't want it to attack my little rover. So don't go near my rover. Come after me. That's it. We'll head back to the base and have it get eaten up by the turrets. Different angle it's coming in on, but that just means more turrets will shoot at it. Die, you stinging adversary. Die. And it's going down. Although, it looks like one of my turrets started to uh, shoot up my other turret. Nanite, fix it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, ore detector in place. And interesting that I nicked... I named this cobalt, but there's actually magnesium 40 meters below us. Hmm. Yeah, and this looks like I'm right over top of the patch right here. Make sure none of those uh, fleeting rivals and stuff have, are coming in. Looks like they're good. So right where the ship is is where I want the drill. So if that's the case, then the platform should be... A little bit away from that. Like about here. And we can align that to grid. And we can rotate this. Ooh, we can. Want to rotate this slightly. There we go. So it's facing that direction. Uh, question is what angle do I want to approach this at? I probably want to approach it at this angle when I'm driving in here. So about. there. Make our little platform. Oh, and now I won't need a little ramp because I'll have uh, the ability to just drive right onto this platform. How convenient. Ah, oh, this is just, this is turning out wonderful. I won't do the whole setup on camera as you guys have seen me do this a couple times. So let me get this magnesium mine fixed up. Oh wait, what? I heard the sound of something being built. If my nanites are reaching way out here, that is OP as shit. But I don't think they are. So let's just get this thing set up and I'll be back in just a couple moments. Alright, and the sun is going down, but we got the basics of the little drill set up here. So let's just send it on down into the ground here. We got these pistons on Sharon Nurse Tensor and uh, let us change their velocities together to say 0.2. And then they'll be going together at 0.4, which should be just enough. 
and this thing will head on down. What I should do is I should add a basic uh, refinery on here, because I will get a bunch of stone out of this. But this magnesium is deep, so we're going to have to drill down to get to it, and then eventually when we get down there, make a space, and then do the mining style that we did for the iron. And the bad part is, is oh, there's another one coming in. Every single time something is coming in, I have to run back to the base because they come for me and not for my stuff. So there's another, what is that? It's a fleeting pursuant coming in. I even tried adding an antenna and a beacon to the base just temporarily to see if that would draw them in. But no, it's entirely me being there or not so <laughs> it's annoying <laughs> my god oh and did i go through all of my ice in the entire base uh whoo i guess my hydrogen engines have been going uh, a little bit too hard here let's uh turn those off hopefully my utility ship still has a little bit of hydrogen in its thing or else i'm gonna have to get some uh ice some how else No, no, don't shoot the ship, goddammit. Stop, you black turret. I'm gonna get rid of you. You're in the way now. You're just causing more damage. There we go. And pick up the shells. Which I can't carry them all. Yeah, I'll just deposit it in here. There we go. Inventory full. But yeah, it's kind of annoying. I have to I every single time somebody's coming in, I have to run back to the base because it's the only place with defenses. <sighs> soon. You got the turrets here functional. We can soon get them uh, some some ammo in them. We're attempting to get this ship shield emitter fixed up, but we need field emitters, we need gravity components, we need superconductors for this, so it's gonna be annoying to get done, but I'm 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 actually half tempted if I throw my ship here, this little guy, into the grinding pit. I'll get all of its stuff, and oh my god, the grinding pit got some damage. Um, I'll get all of its stuff on there, and it can use some of its field emitters from its shield, which it has 50 of, to help build this shield, which it needs. A lot more of so I may need some more gold which is unfortunate because I'll can have to continue doing trips to the moon of course off camera because they're boring on camera <sighs> but it is the end of the day we've got the nanites they are functioning we got a new issue is that we are running out of ice I think overnight because the base is between me and the lake I can go down to the lake and I can set up one of my drill rigs in the lake and just cart back an insane quantity of ice with my truck get that back in the base get all my hydrogen ships refueled and possibly get my hydrogen generators back online and just keep gathering resources as my nanite facility does its work so there's again far too many things on my hud now i gotta get rid of all these things so this antenna isn't helping me so we'll get rid of it yeah I'll just do a whole bunch of cleanup overnight as uh, that's the main issue right now is the fact that there's just so much junk around my base from all these attacks but yeah we got the dropship started I figure it's probably gonna be another episode probably this thing will finish off the majority of this overnight and I'll be able to uh, get it plugged into the base with a temporary uh, uh, conveyor probably directly out through the back here and into uh, one of these uh, large thrusters back here just put a hole right through the back of the ship and plug it right right into the base I think that'll work but we are doing it we're getting our dropship functional and we will have it for the next couple episodes but that is it for now. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.